What's up, Internet? Welcome to another episode of the Aaron and Josh Cooking Show. Ooh. Turn down for what? Today on the Josh and Aaron Cooking Show, we're not going to cook anything. We're going to make a drink, and we're going to make a drink that is my all-time favorite drink, the <gasps> Moscow Mule. If you don't know what a Moscow Mule is, that's what we're here for. We're going to teach you how to make it. It's very simple to make. To make a perfect Moscow Mule, you'll need these ingredients. Let's make that perfect Moscow Mule. Drink responsibly. First things first, get your copper mug. Don't drink a Moscow Mule without a copper mug. It does affect the flavor. Second step, ice. Now, a lot of people would just put cubed ice in here, no big deal. Personally, if I want a Moscow Mule, I want chipped ice, crushed ice. When you take a sip of your drink, every swig will have a little bit of crushed ice, and that, my friends, is a beautiful thing. Yeah, you don't want a big old block of ice hitting you in your mouth. And then make sure when you put the crushed ice in your mug, fill it one third of the way. See, it's already kind of frosting up to the level. You can see at, at what level that is. One of the many, many wonderful things about using a copper mug in this drink, it's enhancing whatever temperature is already in there. Step number three, vodka. Doesn't really matter what kind, but every meal you want to add a shot and a half of vodka. Step number four. Ginger beer. This is very important. To me, I would say the ginger beer in a Moscow Mule is the most important ingredient in making the perfect Moscow Mule. That's what really makes it. You need ginger beer, and the ginger beer you need is Fever, Fever tree. tree. It's not too sweet. It's not too bitter. It makes your lips tingle. Got a little, little bit of a bite. It does. I, like. I don't want a super sweet mule. I want a little... So if you go to the store and you get Fever Tree, which you should do, get the 6.8 ounce size, and that is perfect for a singular Moscow Mule. Now make sure you pour that whole bottle in. Don't worry, it's the perfect amount. It's not gonna spill over. After you pour your Fever Tree in, <laughs> after you pour your Fever Tree in, there's one more step. Limes. Put an entire lime in your Moscow Mule. Trust me, you won't regret it. Oh, me. Like the river Jordan, and I will then say to thee. And that's how you make a perfect Moscow mule. Cheers, Aaron. Cheers, bro. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're under the age of 21, or maybe you just don't drink alcohol, basically do exactly what we said every single step. Just remove the vodka. Yep. The really weird and dangerous thing about a Moscow Mule is you don't really taste the alcohol because mm -hmm. the lime and the ginger beer take over. Aaron and I are gonna finish our mules. Yeah. Forever and always, be nice to people and au revoir.